What I'm gonna be making for you today is something that I never really made before I bought a deli. We don't have the deli anymore because it's really a lot, a lot of work, but I started making the chicken masala at the deli and my kids loved it, so I'm continuing making it. I look for a recipe and then I put all my own little twists and turns on it. What I have here is two and a half pounds of chicken cutlets. You can make it with veal if you want, but my kids prefer, my family prefers the chicken. So you have the chicken and you have it um, like scallopined or small. You can do it however you like, but I like to do it like this. Sometimes I just cut it up in chunks and do the same thing, but this is the correct way of doing the chicken, of cutting the chicken. I have a cup of flour here and I have a pound of mushrooms. What I'm gonna do is add a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of garlic powder to the flour. You could put pepper in. My family doesn't like pepper, so I never use it. If I want pepper, I add it on myself afterwards. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the chicken, we're gonna dredge it in the flour, and then we're gonna fry it in the pan in oil, whatever kind of oil you like. I use canola. You could use olive oil, you could use vegetable oil, whatever kind of oil you like. Okay, so I'm dredging the cutlets in the seasoned flour. You shake off the flour, and we're gonna fry up the cutlets until they're brown on each side. Okay, after you've fried all your cutlets, you take them out of the bowl. I'll show you that when I come back. But I'm gonna fry all these cutlets and then I'll be back to show you what I do. Okay. Finished sauteing all the chicken. And now I am going to deglaze the pan with some butter. And then I'm gonna add about a pound of mushrooms. So just scrape off the bottom. There's a lot of goodness over there. And so when the butter is finished, we're gonna put in the uh, mushrooms. And I'm going to saute the mushrooms a little bit just until they're all kind of covered because the mushrooms cook really, really good. Now we have the salt in the, the batter that I put in for the uh, chicken. If you want to add a little bit more salt, you could add a little bit more salt, but I don't. Uh, everybody likes to have different levels of salt. I like a medium level. So here is the uh, mushrooms. What I'm going to do right now after I've covered all of these is I'm going to add a cup of masala. The masala, you're gonna cook off for about five minutes because you don't wanna taste all the alcohol. So that's a cup of masala there. Now, there was about a cup of, of flour in the dish there that I uh, coated this with. Sometimes, you want to add a little bit more flour from the seasoning there because you want it a little thicker. You can leave it and not have it so thick or you can add some more flour, whatever you like, whatever your preference is. But what I, what I use is I use the flour from the dredging. So we're going to cook this here. We're going to cook this down a little bit. Make sure the mushrooms and the masala is cooked off a little bit. Five minutes should do the trick. Then we're gonna add all the chicken and some chicken broth, two cups of chicken broth. And then you just let it simmer down and add the flour to the thickness you want. I used uh, a stick of butter, very fattening. Sometimes I don't use that much butter because we're trying to watch our weight, but it makes it more flavorful, of course. As always, better with butter. Okay, so the uh, masala is cooked off a bit. It's been cooking for about five to seven minutes. One second. Look, look, look. Ah. 
So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add the chicken broth. Ah, chicken broth. Let it cook for a couple of minutes till it comes to a little simmer. Then you can add the chicken and however much flour you want, depending on how thick you want. This is like, mm, not very thick, but it's gonna get a little thick as it cooks with the chicken in it. There we go. Make sure that everything is covered. This is yummy. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is just let it cook for a little bit. I think I might add a little bit more flour to get a little bit more thickness. But it'll cook for a little bit, like I said, and it'll get a little thicker, but it may not be as thick as you like it. Make sure everything is covered. Try to get it in there. And if you add extra flour, just sprinkle it over. Don't do it in clumps, because then you'll have lumps in your masala. We don't want to have lumps, do we? So what I think I'm going to do is sprinkle a little bit more on to get that extra thickness. We'll see a little bit at a time. Okay, here we go. That's thick enough. Not thick enough for you? That's all right. Let it reduce a little it's more. It's going to reduce. That's right. So this is the end product. And isn't it beautiful? Look at that. I'm going to take a piece here and sample it out. i got to get some mushrooms, of course. You don't even need a knife with this. You cut it with a fork. Look at that. It's so tender. Butter. Mmm. That's good. You could use a little bit more salt, but otherwise it's perfect. The thickness of the sauce is good. Everything is good. Hope you enjoy it. Bon appetit and have a good evening. I uh, sauteed all the chicken cutlets. Now I'm gonna add a half a stick of butter. Normally I would add more butter because, oh, I can't get this on now. Shit, you gotta stop. <gasps> I don't think we wanna do that. <laughs> what we do now is I'm going to add all the chicken. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to add the chicken broth, depending on how thick you want it. This is like, mm, not very thick, but it's going to get a little thicker as it cooks with the chicken in it. And then we're going to add flour. <laughs> Do I need your two cents? <laughs> hey guys, is that thick enough? Never thick enough. No, yeah, mm -hmm. it's... It, it is, can't get too thick enough. It gets like glue. Hey, like glue. I don't like glue. We like it a little thicker than you. I know you do. But I'm the chef. <laughs>